What's up everybody and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. Uh, two days away from Night of Champions this, this Sunday and we kicked off the show with Stardust and Jimmy Uso which was pretty much quick. Jimmy Uso went with a super kick taking out Stardust and then Goldust tried to attack right after both the Uso's double super kick Goldust in which was pretty much alright so Try the matches so quick. Usually have some better matches. Miz and Cesaro went against Sheamus and Ziggler. Pretty much both Intercontinental and United States Championship are on the line this Sunday. Uh, Sheamus and Ziggler pick up the win and the bro kick on the Miz. Uh, so it was just like, you know, paint by numbers, whatever. Getting ready for the match this Sunday, just had the faces go over. Which I don't know how they're going to do this Miz and Ziggler thing. I'm like, oh my god, do we really need to do this? What is this whole stunt double thing? Sandow, uh, I knew your career wasn't going anywhere, but come on. How long, how, how much were you going to kill Truth on this one? Like, literally. Heath Slater went against Adam Rose. And my god, this was horrible. Again. The Slater Gator uh, and the Bunny is getting involved. And why is the Bunny getting involved? Adam Rose, uh, he won the match. Uh, and, and then you got the Bunny jump out the ring doing crossbodies. And and whatever, you know, his finisher is the um, Adam Rose. He beat Heath Slater. So, like... Why is there a bunny in this match again? Why? Uh, it's ridiculous. Who cares? The Wyatt family went against the Big Show and Matt, the Los Matadores, which I thought the Usos was supposed to be in this tag team. Like, my God, why are we tagging Big Show with two jobbers to go against the Wyatt family? Why? I didn't even the same levels. Any of these four guys? The Wyatt family, the Big Show? Like, my God, we gave Big Show jobbers the team with tonight against the Wyatts? And the Wyatts can't even get a better match out of this. They ain't even on the same level. Like, my God. I, I even know those Matt Doors are still around at the time. Like, literally. I, are they even still around at the time? Because, like, who, who cares about those guys? And why are they in a, a six-man tag? Why are they even a match in the Wyatts? Why are they tagging with Big Show? The, oh, my God. The Wyatts won the match. So, like, I don't know what this is accomplished or... I don't know the Wyatts have ever matched the pay-per-view this Sunday either. I don't know what they're doing with the Wyatts. Like, they need, they need something, but it's not going anywhere. Nikki Bella went against Paige. Paige won. AJ was on commentary, which people think this is not like a Trish Stratus and uh, Mickey James type thing. People are going with that. Pretty much after the match, AJ grabbed the title and held it in the ring. And um, pretty much say, you know, who wants the title and... Pretty much Nikki Bella got in the middle, took the title and hit both of them with, so... I don't know, people think they're doing this Mickey James and, um, um, Trish Strass thing, but this is a... P unfortunately, this is PG, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Um... And, I don't know. Why is Nikki Bella in this match again? Like, who gives a fuck? So, we should have had a one-on-one -on -one match. Probably would be great between AJ and Paige. But for some reason, we gotta uh, add bitch and Nikki, Be Nikki Bella into this match. Why? Why is she getting a title shot? I, 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 sometimes I think AJ is burying her in commentary. Like, wh why is she in this match? This is about AJ and Paige. Nikki Bella getting a title shot. Like, let, okay, let's just throw Nikki Bella in the match. Who cares? Hopefully, I don't even think that's even gonna turn out good on Sunday. Swagger went against Dallas again, even though he beat him Monday. Dallas won the match with the Bulldog and pretty much um, told Swagger that you lost your Swagger, that you'll be like a referee or, or Zep Coulter stealing sugar packets out of a diner. And he says, all you got to do is boldly and bowl leave and Swagger kicked him before he even said it. And then Dallas got out of there Swagger tried to go after him. So I don't know where they're going with that. Uh, Rusev went against Roman Reigns. Wasn't much to say about this match. Wasn't all that like last time in a way. I, I thought it was going to be legit, but Seth Rollins came out. He hit Rusev with the money to bank briefcase accidentally, and it was a qualification. Ran to the Superman punch on Rusev, and it was pretty much Seth Rollins and uh, Rusev brawling. They, they pretty much brawled around and out into the arena there. 
And then Mark Henry came out and pretty much held his hand up. And then the American flag came down. And then he got in the ring and went after Rusev. Pretty much attacked him. Rusev was knocking him down. Henry pretty much trying to no-sell it pretty much. And then when Rusev ran towards him, Henry pretty much hit the world front of the slam. It, it wasn't much to say about this show. It almost it wasn't a lot of hype for Night of Champions in a way. It was just like, whatever. It's like, it is what it is in a way. So, I I don't know, man. It was like, I, yeah, who's caring right now? Ridiculous matches again. Two minutes. The Matador is going against the Wyatts. That's not even worth the competition. I don't know. It, it's like, I don't know what they're doing right now, but once again, you know it's me, it's me, the HWOD, coming at the news and the reviews. You know what I am, you know what I do with the show. Here I go with the flow. It's going down, it's SmackDown, two days. No need for revamping, because this Sunday it's Night of Champions. So I'm out of here, I'll see you guys later. Peace.